Space Center. Hello, hello, everyone. <clears throat> Yeah, I decided to join a round late. Uh, so I'm gonna skip the first round and uh gonna join from the second one. So I'll be just uh, observing this game and then I'll get ready to start the uh, new game. How are you guys today? I have really, really bad hair day, so uh <laughs> this is a really good save actually. I, I love my new uh new um favorite um clothes hat new favorite hat um okay i'm actually very excited to play title tuesday i'm so ready uh to train before the over the board tournament i think i need a good train uh, and i'll be very serious now with my uh preparation so um let's see how the thing's gonna go for whatever reason i don't see the chat here so oh when i start to play you guys will go to the um uh emoji mode so i hope that you're gonna go crazy and uh spam a lot of emojis in the chat hopefully um you guys is is my voice fine or is it too low oh lily got disconnected oh no oh no no very often i choose to join a little bit late like one round or two rounds late uh because anyway it is 11 rounds and um you know enough games especially when i play late title tuesday too i think that is okay hi blue boy how are you today uh so sad to see me streaming from poland yeah yeah, yeah. i'm actually hiding here in the suitcase i have two suitcases i uh i packed for georgia and i also packed for formentera because basically i had here only uh one two hours in poland when i was coming back so yeah it's um uh, it's sad it is sad really uh doing good okay louder i cannot do louder this is the loudest i can get <laughs> for now oh uh, let me adjust some stuff in here have you guys seen uh magnus carlson losing against uh faustina Okay, I'm seeing my microphone right now. Let me. Oh, how about that? Is it better? Hello, is it better? Is this better? Any better? My voice is good to put you to sleep. Yeah, I know that. I know that. A lot of people tell me that. That I have some um, soft voice. Uh, but hold on. Is it late for you? Um, I thought I thought it was um, morning for you. No, it, it can't be morning. It, sh it should be late. It should be late for you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see Ginger Jim is also playing. Okay, let's take a look who are today the fancy guys. We have Hikaru. We have uh Fer Chess on YouTube. Is 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 this guy actually streaming? I think it's Andrekin. Is Andrekin streaming? We have Hans. We have Duda. Uh I think this is Sarana. I don't know who's Zina. Jospam, Vortnik. If I paired up against uh, uh, Jasper again, I will, I will, I will just uh, give up the queen in one move. Before I lose, I will give up the queen. Guys, remind me to give up the uh, 
to give up the uh, queen against him. Did my passport got expired? No, my passport has a date. Um, Kazarian Gambit? What is Kazarian Gambit, guys? I don't know that. I'm a bit behind, you know. You know these things about me. Hanging the Rook? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Rooks are very uh, not appreciated. Okay, I see also Kramnik here. Grishuk. Okay, no Magnus Carlsen. That is still fine. So guys, today um, uh, I was packing um, until very late um, and um, I, bur I didn't actually slept. Um, and then in the morning, I think it was like around six, seven, I got so hungry. I always have some hinkali in the fridge, like with the cheese uh, filling. And I was like, if I don't go to Georgia, Georgia will come here to me. And I cooked and I ate five hinkali. That actually never happens. <laughs> My maximum is four, usually like three to four. I ate five and then I fell asleep. When I woke up uh, just like some, some hours before, that's why I'm actually late because I had really, really late uh, sleep today. Like basically I just uh, fell asleep in the morning. Uh, when I woke up, I was not sure what I have done, but I was feeling really heavy. And I was like, did I just eat hinkali? And then I was not so sure. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get coffee right now. And I went to the kitchen and I saw some leftovers <laughs> from Hinkali. And I was like, oh, wow, can't be bravo. So I ate in my bed Hinkali. So, you know, never make things to stress you out. Always make the best out of it. <laughs> and eat food in the bed when you have a bad day. So that's, uh, that works. But I really had some, you know, mixed feelings about that too. Okay, this game is like complete the draw. Black pushes this pawn, white will uh, now sacrifice. And that's going to be the uh, game over very soon. So draw happened. I think that was the last game. And now we're going to start the new game. You guys going to go to the mode, uh, emote mode and... Uh, please make sure that you're gonna drop a lot of a lot of emojis in the chat because that's gonna make me happier. I see I see emojis uh, popping up on the screen, so mm, that's pretty cool. Who's my opponent? Vladislav Kovalev. Okay, let's go. Bishop g5. Hello, Joanna and Sandaru. Uh, very often I'm mixing up the tournament, so this one is with three minutes plus one second. So I have to I have to remember that. Sometimes I'm just pre-moving too much, uh, and I'm losing on the board. So I have to find the good balance. Maybe this one was a better move there, but too late. My knight also needs to be developed. Let's just move um, pre-move this one. That actually happened. Now I have to take this and play f4 to maintain my pawn on e5. So far, this looks fine. Let's see where he's going to castle. Did you just send me pink poo in the chat? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> because of my pink trousers? Oh, that's cute. After this game, I'm gonna give you guys a quick look how my trousers look. It's quite pinky. Let's go in here. 
or it's too far. Let's just go here and hit this pawn. All right. We can go in here. Give snow care to the king. Okay. That's pretty good for me though. Um Here, for instance, queen. Hmm, I like my position very much. Also, the time situation is pretty nice. The pawn in d5 is hanging. Um, queen e6. Now this queen is sort of like uh, pinned, like the pawn is pinned. Can I go e4 in this position? I think I can go e4. This is my first candidate move. I also liked knight to e4, then knight to d6, but c c4 is the move there, and I don't like that. So can I just take here? Okay, you take, I can take with the knight. Oh, I like that. I like that. And now I can actually give the check and capture the queen, or I can just move my queen away. That's the move that I like, I think, the most. Hmm. Queen here, or queen there. Okay, let's just. Oh my no. Okay, it's it's good position. It's a good position. I'm freaking out. Um, you know what? We're gonna go here. You take, I take. I want to play knight d6, check and try to win a queen. Oh, I see so many emojis. That's so cool. Thanks, guys. Okay, took. And now what? Rook to d4. I can give this check. And I can play rook to c1. I like both moves. Let's go rook to. No, let's go check first. Um, knight here, we go some here. Okay, I'm gonna go rook here. Um, can I just come here and attack? Let's try this. Mm.
Is there any chance I can? I don't know if I can do any stalemate here. Yeah. Wow, there was a good game. There was a good game, actually. There was a good game. Let me take a look how I could play better. Uh, I started to freak out because of the time. So let's check here with the engine to save some time. The best move here actually was queen of three. Okay, queen of three was the best move. Take stakes. And now knight d6 is the best move. I'm going to go here so you guys can see. King goes here, knight f5, okay. Knight f5 now. And a okay, knight to seven. Okay, so far is good actually. A4. A4 is a good move. Or A3. Okay, I started to panic here. And this is E6 is also winning. I don't know. I don't know why I played this move. Okay, I know why I played this move because I wanted to avoid rookie two. Let's say E6 in this position. And I started to freak out. I want E7, right? So here you have to go here. And now, yeah, I did not see this. So I did not see this. I did not see the follow-up. That's why I played rook e3. Let's, let's see how bad is this move. It's okay. It's okay. Now e6 is 7. h4 is a blunder, actually. He could just take the pawn. But e7 here. And knight f5. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh, that's not... Oh, wait, is not this winning? I'm winning an exchange. Hmm. Interesting. Very cool game. I actually enjoyed very much to play that game. Um, yeah. Uh, in my opinion, the H4 was the, was the blunder. And after that, I actually had no chance to survive H4. Like, I'm losing this pawn and then black pawns are just... Um, yeah. Or maybe... Oh, maybe I still have knight f5 here. Okay. Yeah, probably I had this still. I still have this move. <gasps> okay. Okay, it's fine. It's a good start, though. It's a good start of, uh, of a day, for sure. Instead of... E6, why not rook to E1? That's I actually wanted to pin the knight on C5 with my rook, but that's actually a, is a very good question. Why not rook to E1? That's a very good question. Yeah, probably this is much better than I'm going to go here. Let's check with the engine. Yeah, that, that was actually a better move. That was actually a better move. I was too busy to pin this knight but this knight is not doing any damage here in this position so yeah mm. okay the next game starts let's go this mode cristiano 2200 national oh national masters and calendar masters are the most dangerous creatures in the chess world in the chess universe <laughs> they are they are very challenging they are the aliens of chess let's see that's fine that's fine i like pink uh pink pink blue emoji too it's just weird <laughs> That is just weird. Okay, let's go here in diving this position. E5, I can actually just castle first and see where he's going to develop the knight. Knight goes there, I go here. And um, we're going to have now a very crazy position. He'll try to play F5, I'll try to play B4. And the one who pushes the uh, pawns and creates the weakness first wins the game, obviously. H5, I've never seen this kind of move before. So what's the difference? I, I think I can take now the pawn. I think I can take. So you can take because this is hanging. You have to take with the piece. 
All right, and now I have to block the pawn on e5. Bishop g5 is another move that I like very much in this position. All right, let's go there. Knight f6. After kin. So. Takes, 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 takes. Here. 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 You know what? I'm going to go for this. Let's take here. Knight gets in here. All right. Should I take the pawn on d6 or keep detention? Let's take. And now um, my bishop. My bishop, my bishop. Okay, let's get this one here. Do you guys know this song of Nirvana, My Girl? That was my favorite song when I was a child, like teenager. <laughs> Maybe that's not the name of the song. Giving up this. Take, take, and take here. So I... I take... I take... Hey, this is scary. But playing... King C in the end, you have to you have to be ready for the situations like that. King C in the end and Sicilian, those are two of the sharpest openings that you have to be ready. Okay, he wants to play knight f3. Can I go f3 myself? I think I can. Okay, queen is hanging, rook is hanging, bishop is there too. I, I would love to trade the bishops. I think I am fine in this position unless there is some tactics. Hopefully there is no any tactic yet. I don't see. So maybe he will take knight f3. To sacrifice the piece. We will take the piece for sure. I'll take the piece. Peace, 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 peace. Uh -oh. Okay, I take here. I don't have much of the options. And now rook f2 is a bad move, actually. It's a bad, bad move. But I have a rook e3. Is this any better? Okay, let's try. Get here. Oh, I have okay, I have King F2. Okay. I think if I survive in two, two more moves, I'm thinking now to take the bishop on f5 or, yeah, I have to take bishop f5. Check, queen, rookie one. Oops, that's not her. Um, let's try this.
Oh, I did not see that happening. I will stay here. I have this thing to do. Okay, I have this map. Um, this way. Where's my safe? Can try, mates. Okay, clubs, 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 clubs. This game was really interesting. This game was really, really interesting. Let's take a look. Um, okay, so I liked the position very much because it was really sharp, and we both had the chances here. So, um, this queen g4 is a very complicated move, actually. And here my calculation was that if I play rook to f2, that was my first plan. Um, wait, he takes here, I take, and there is this nest to check, and I'm checkmated on the back rank. So I didn't like that position. Of course, I don't want it to play king f1, because it's like still in the center. So here... If you do the same in this position, now I have the square for the king. Um, and mm, queen g4 must be blunder. Um, I have the opinion about this. Like, if you don't, I, I think queen g4 is a very practical move for the blitz game, for online chess, especially. If you do, don't do that, blue boy, then you actually have very bad position. I just captured the pawn. I'm going to take the bishop, I will ruin the pawn structure, king is exposed, it's going to be a slow death. So what he did is very nice. Uh, very often you're getting freaked in this kind of positions where it's a tense uh, situation um, and some kind, it's some kind of like risk move, but you can, you can get something out of it. So this is what I don't have so far yet. People are creating all this kind of danger on the board. Maybe this is not a best, maybe it's a blunder, but it, it brings some, you know, some tactics and some traps there. If you don't do that, if you just move your rook away, it's going to be just, it will be so good position for me. I will just outplay him easily. But this kind of moves, they are challenging for everyone. Uh, especially the player like me, who is not like fast. I'm not fast player. Uh, I need some time to... Uh, I'm I'm over the board chess player, not the online chess player, right? So um, for me, this kind of moves are more challenging. And there is a chance that you will make a mistake. So I kind of like queen g4. I wish I had the skill to to to, to find moves like that. <laughs> okay, the uh, next game starts. Oh, look at him. We have Kasparov back. His name is Kasper. He is from Poland. Uh, we played like three games, I guess, earlier. I'm going to go C6 now. I'm going to go C6 now. Let's see how this is going to go uh, for me, E6. Uh, let's go with C5. Um, this knight goes there, so um, I'm just going to take here. Gonna play ninety-seven. To go knight c six, takes takes, c three. Mm. Oh, that's too risky. Let's go. Okay, I liked your d four. Bishop c five. He wants to get this one here and it's quite comfortable square. Do I have something against it? C5, knight goes here. I go back, takes, takes. Okay, he cannot take, so I'm going to go here first. I thought he was actually Grandmaster. He's quite strong, my opponent. 
Hello, just rice later. Okay. It goes to the other direction. I have to castle. Okay, and now I get the penguin. I don't like G6. I might think to sacrifice it with some D3 ideas. Not right now. Mm, let's take this one here. Okay. Bishop is hanging. Knight before is the move that I like very much. Knight a6 is another move. Takes, takes, but I don't want knight a6. So no. Knight g5. Knight g6. Hmm. I have to play this move. D three. Take take. D three takes take take. D five. Oh take. No. <laughs> um. Take this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I thought there was a check. <laughs> I thought there was a check.
Oh, the wrong track. Wrong track. Check, check, check. Okay, let's see um, how this game went. At first, I want to check out here. As I am not playing that often over the board tournament, I am quite rusty right now with the openings. So let's see. 97 is a better move. And I was scared of this on take, but now I have 97 and knight to c6. After this one, I just take. If you castle, I just go here. Okay. So what I have done is... Um, yeah, not so smart. After this, like, when there is a pair of bishop advantage, it's a pair of bishop advantage. And I also had the weaknesses here in this position. There was also the pin, so... Yeah, I basically never had a chance, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, so at the beginning, that was the point here. 97. I didn't really remember it. I remember the 97, but was not sure to take on d4 first and then to play or to play right away. So that is sometimes very tricky. And this kind of small uh, changes can actually change the pawn structure and you can get a really bad position. I always play against the same people. That's true, actually. That's true. The same people all the time. Wait, is this the round four? This is a round four. Okay, then it means that we're going to have some break time. All the games have been finished. I see there are not too many games. So I'm going to just, uh, I think, get myself tea. And we'll be back in a second. How many minutes, guys? About five minutes or less? No, I think five minutes we're going to have a break. Break, break, break. Okay, I'm going to be back soon. And this is my pink trousers that I recently got. This is pretty. Uh, they have a timer. They have a timer, but only people who are in the Zoom call can see that. We don't see that. It would be really good to have timer here on the on the uh, browser. They edit the chat really. Ooh. No, I don't see time. I don't really see the time. Okay, guys, see you soon. Okay. Shut up besides the standings. Standings. Oh, here, chat. Ooh, no. Oh, no. 
There was a chat here. <laughs> I'm more for players. Ah, oh, they have the link. They have the link. Oh, that's awesome. We needed this so much. Oh, oh. Three minutes. Oh, so nice. It will it will update itself. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, guys. Thanks for letting me know. So, um, hey, gentlemen. Um, my personal approach to the things in life is very simple. When you have a shitty day, that we usually have very often, or maybe not very often, you have to make your shitty days into your celebration. So, my celebration today is this sushi streaming and hanging out with you guys so i'm gonna just eat this sushi here i hope it will be fine and i will not make you hungry if i make you hungry order yourself too and join me to have some sushi party today um just a second i need one can i make it three minutes yeah my tea is uh, I need to buy a new teapot. Very often. <laughs> yeah, okay. Adult, adult life sucks pretty much, so we have quite often. It's not a lie. You're too young, rookie. You're too young for this. You will you will learn about all the shitty things later on. <laughs> Food and chess. Cheese and chest is the best combination, I guess. Okay, let me put it here. And actually, actually, I'll be cooking soon. I'll just think of some menu today to, um, to do the Georgian cooking stream, you guys. I own one. Yeah, it's sometimes not so easy to be young. <laughs> one minute to go. And I have one point so far. Do you guys remember my starting rating? I forgot to check that. I like the young. I actually wear it very often, but today I could not. Uh, I could not fix my hair that fast, <laughs> and I just. I just put it on. <laughs> okay, we're starting soon. Oh, you guys, actually, very good. Uh, very good information about Formentera is that. Uh, Ivanchuk is uh, is playing. Ivanchuk is number one seated player at the um, Formentera. I'm number 14. So I hope some more high rating people will join because I don't want to be for like top 15 player. No, I want actually to win some rating there. So it would be get best if they have more, more, more high rated players. Mm-hmm. 24-39, so that was our starting, thanks, Sancho. National Master. Let's go. Let's go. More and more and more over here. <clears throat>
Ooh, C4. Breathe the hole here, so how can I use it? Let's get this one here. D5, using this pin. Sacrificing a pawn, but if it takes, I have a plan. The plan. I have the plan. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm gonna give up my queen for the moment. If he takes, then I'm gonna take his queen. He did not even thought for the move. I like b5 here. b5, b3 is one way to deal with this position, but then I'm actually creating the passive one, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to help my opponent. Let's go here first. That's another type of pin here to the diagonal. Maybe a h5, h4 somewhere. I should not be talking about my plans. I, I, have, I have to stop that. Because I don't know what's the chance that my opponent is watching this stream. Let's go here. Never talk about your plans. Is... my motto of life <laughs> queen e4 is the move he wants to play mm, possible yes b5 now e5 I have to do something. Do I have this move? Hmm. Let's go 
this one here he wants to take and play rookie two check check Oh, I can give now the check. And get this rook somewhere in here. Okay, check five. I did that. Shit. Oh. Oh wow, this was not the winning endgame for me. I blundered here in this move, like when I played d5. Um, actually, like, probably this was a better move here, but I'm losing after this one. So when I said previous in the previous game that I'm not making the um, uh, tricky moves or blunders, that was maybe not true because I knew that I was losing there and this is the only way I can fight here, but still this is losing if he goes here first and I can stop. But I was lucky that he did not really um, thought of that and here he gave me the chance. And yeah, there was a big chance here. I don't think I'm lost here actually. I don't think I'm lost. Even if he played this move here, um, I mean, I'm gonna play e2, king f3 and this is quite a nice position for me. Um, yeah, why to lose this one? So, oh my gosh, that was really nerve-wracking game, actually. I'm happy to win. I'm happy to win. Let me take a look at the... Yeah, opening was pretty nice for me. The opening was pretty nice. I just um, managed to equalize very fast. And here we have this d5. Um, yeah, those moves were just fine. I think maybe a5 was a better move first to kick this and then to play this and like even maybe a4 here to open up the position but the problem was like even if i take here i don't want to create the pass pawn in one of the games i played earlier in this tournament i created pass pawn myself and it was a good lesson for me and i, was, I said like whenever i uh, weak on the side i'm not gonna play with the pawns so here i'm weaker on the queen side because he has more pawn on on the queen side and that's why i played b5 first but yeah after this one i don't have much of the much of the options this is for sure draw this is for sure draw with the correct play yeah The next game starts. We take be the master. Oh, 2700. 
Magnus lost? Oh, wait, I, I said that Magnus is not playing against title. It's just I, I completely forgot. I could not even... Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. The thing is that um, I saw the games uh, from Granke today. And I was quite surprised to see Carlson playing in that, like, tournament. Because he doesn't like to play uh, close tournaments, I guess. Um where where there are not too many players like i don't know some challenging ones like hikaru or uh karwana or so and so on so um yeah i somehow didn't connect the facts uh this goes here Uh, Rich is very um creative player actually. Oh no, actually I actually made a mistake now. First I had to go um first I had to go bishop e3 and then bishop g5. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Dude, this is literally the best stream ever. <laughs> oh, wow. thanks so much. Thanks if you guys think so. I appreciate that. Let's take here. Uh, the pawn is here. The bishop is blocked. What I can do now to get something more from this position. Let's get queen here. Knight in here. Okay, knight c5, knight e6. That's what he wants to play. I will play queen here. Oh, it was e5. I didn't see that was happening. And he wants to play f4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that. It was my initial plan to pin the knight. No, he wants to take. I heard you. I heard you. I'm gonna go in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I have this move, and I like it. Probably h5, but I have the square here for the knight. Okay, this actually slows down g5 now, the pawn is hanging, so... Hopefully that's the move. I can play b4, you know? I can still play b4 in this position. Maybe it's not the best move, but I can do. Um, I kind of like this move more. Let's go knight here. We take. Let's block the pawn on a5. I can get this rook here.
Oh, the time. Every time I pre-move, it is so bad decision, so I have to stop pre-moving. I mean, she would do that. Shit. Oh no. Oh, that was painful. Oh, it was painful. Ah. Oh. Hold on. How could I play better? It's interesting that he actually dropped his time and then he sacrificed. He could sacrifice earlier. I had like no better time and. Okay. I think here I had some chances. I had some chances in here. Maybe this one. Both rooks are hanging. Let's see with the engine. Rook c2 is a... Uh, but it's so difficult to make this decision. Yeah, it's all... Yeah. And rook e3. No, rook e3 is too much. 
So Kings, you, I was so close to play that, and I was like, maybe first I, I will give the check, and then I should not take the pawn on, um, on b6 because I simplify the position. Oh wow, that was a bit painful though. To lose like that. Hey Jim Silver, good to see you. Are you actually playing? Oh, you're taking off to Alicante. What is happening to Alicante? It's Sp Spain, right? What's going on in Spain? <laughs> Takes, takes, queen takes, and b6. I play faster. I have to play very fast. And that's it. I have to be faster. Wait, what's going on after this? I think my friend, you just wondered. Druk is hanging. If you play e4, I'm going to take e4. And. Okay, knight to e4 right now. Delicious. I like this kind of pieces. You guys, have you played this game? Uh, what's the name? It was some application I had in my phone. Um, and sugar crush, sugar crush, yes, <laughs> sugar crush, oh my gosh, there was so, um, strange game, actually, I was getting addicted to it. What we have here is two bishop for a queen, it is not enough. Usually it's not enough, but he has to play anyway. He cannot just resign, right? So um, I understand his point. I'll just take the pawn. Bishop is hanging, pawn is hanging. Candy crush, yeah, candy crush. I liked it. I was so, so, so crazy for that game. As Jack Sparrow says, take everything and give nothing back. And this is my strategy. Okay, e5. Mm -hmm. I am gonna control the C file. The good thing about having extra material is that you can always give it back and win the game. So how are we gonna do that? D5, D4. First, we're gonna lock down the dark square bishop. So this is a beautiful chain. My king is safe here. Opening the h file is good for me. I have queen. I'm gonna get this rook on h file or not. No, probably not. I don't need to. Let's go here. Let's go now. Um, I'm back because it didn't work out. <laughs> and we go here. Any trade is good for me. Hmm, it looks scary. Maybe it's not a checkmate, but it's scary. I think I'm gonna just push the queen side pawns now. Check. Yes. 
Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Dan. Hello, hello. Look who is still in Poland. Let's trade one pair of work. Let's type here. Can push e4 and d3. But as I am a person who doesn't like to give a chance, I'm the Kate the Brutal, the first of its name. I'll just play like that. Okay. And this is, guys, when we can give up the queen, get the bishop. You tricky man, you tricky man, bishop to h6. <laughs> Dirty flagging move, but I had one minute on the clock. Okay, that was a good game. Uh, and uh, very often, very often, people are just falling for this trap here in this kind of structures. Queen is never happy here on d4. He had to bring this queen back as fast as possible. And then he brought this one here. I saw this one, but then e4 and nothing is... No, e4 actually I can take. Yeah, maybe I could just go here. But it's always good to wait for a bit. Because after, like, this move rook to b1, he wants to play for sure something, like b3 or b4. So that's a very bad move. Let your opponent make the bad move always works so well. Okay. Um, this is round what? Five? Oh, seven. Oh! <laughs> that, that, that's because I skipped the first round. For me, it, it, it's a shorter. It's a shorter. Mm. Find the OTV tournament. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Good luck, good luck. By the way, are you actually free for uh, April? April nine to nineteen. There is another event in Spain. Maybe you can make it afterwards. We need, we need more rated players. <laughs> so you're very much invited on behalf of uh, the organizers. <laughs> Patricia, yeah, I know Patricia, she's a photographer, there is one photo, oh my gosh, I have to show you guys this photo, it is so ridiculous photo, I have to show you this, I sent recently to Nino, we were dying, mm. how to show that, where I have seen it, <laughs> It's so bad photo. <laughs> Let me check in internet. Some people are complaining about my last name, but they, they never think that I also myself struggle very much with my last name. Okay, where is this photo? Let's see here. Oh, that's me. I have such a tragic face. In most of the photos, like if, during the chess games, you guys, this is a bit of warning. This is a bit of warning. When I play, I have a very tragic face. Like, I am fully focused most of the time. I don't understand what's going on around. I don't know what is happening. And my face is like not happy. <laughs> look, at the, look at the guy next to me. He's just... <laughs> He's like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> Why she has a bad mood? Mm. There is another photo I found. I was looking. The oh, the game started. They always have the wrong timing. Okay, let's go. 
Feline Die in Mila. Let's pick this guy first. <clears throat> I think Georgia has the best chances to defeat the Greece in football. You guys, today is a big football match. And Georgia has the chance to qualify to the Euro, European, I think, Euro Cup. Um, I wanted to get the ticket, actually. Oh, thanks God I didn't get the ticket. It was really expensive and I couldn't make it, <laughs> so... Okay, sometimes bad things are good things. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just cancel. Let's go here. Sometimes bad things are good things. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I say so smart things that it even surprises me. Is he thinking to take on d4? Because if he's taking on d4, he can take on d4. Please take it. Because my rook will hang, knight, bishop here. So bad position for me. He's burning the time. How would you know? I'm actually, I'm actually telling you guys all the wisdom. I think that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Okay, if I take here, rook goes here. I can play queen to d2, but I don't like that. Or f3 maybe. Oh my god, that way. That exposes too much of my position. Yeah. Hmm, let, let's not give him what he wants. F5. So scared of that move. But you missed bishop h5. Now you can't castle. I'm gonna go here. To avoid any... any things and checks anymore um king goes there no knight here <gasps> what <laughs> huh what is this ah he wants to okay he wants to go king c7 I'm going to stop that. Because I'm going to stop that. 
65. I was thinking about queen d2 first to attack the um, pawn on g5. Maybe that was an option too. But no, I can just wait. Okay, king is still in the center. We can play this one. Okay. Let's take this one here. Mm. Come on now. Klaus, 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 that was a nice game. I actually enjoyed very much. I think I got lucky at some point. He could play somewhere better, but uh, we don't judge our opponents for their bad decisions. We only judge people for good decisions and the good moves. So I think he just missed calculated here the um i think the long castle was better first and then f5 because oh no the, the, the pawn is hanging anyway maybe G okay yeah, i want to show you guys this one uh i think he spent a lot of time here for calculating all these uh, moves and now the rook is hanging but but i do have here really fancy move knight to e4 and that saves my day so now the queen is hanging. If you take the rook, I'm going to take the bishop and then bishop and I'm winning. You have to take the knight. And now I can go bishop b5. The engine says g4, but the engine, engine knows nothing. <laughs> nothing about... I don't play g4 here. Come on. Would you guys play g4 here in this position? You must be kidding. Stockfish. 16 light. <laughs> Anyways, with G4 or without G4, this position is nice and it's safe for me um, because I have an extra piece, actually. Uh, but uh, the thing that he spent so much time here and then he played G5, in this kind of positions, very often, um, you are just getting distracted with the variations like that. I think he had a chance here. Let's switch this engine. Uh, not very helpful <laughs> in this position. When I play b3, this is very bad structure for me. He could play uh, queen b4, check. I can play c3, he takes. I play this, he goes here and I lose my queen. 
and if I play this one, then he can either capture with the queen or with the knight. Both moves are fine in this position. I think with the queen is much better now. And then also can take here and take here. So my plan after queen to b4 was just to move the king away. And slowly push the pawns like, oh sorry, a3, c3, knight here. It's very bad position with the king here. So I think that was his chance, queen to b4 in this position. It's a break time again. Okay, let's take a look now. So, um, yeah, I told you guys about Ivanchuk, right? We have Ivanchuk, the first seeded player. Okay, anyway, I was just uh, looking what kind of events we have. For instance, Sangria Masterclass is something that I want to attend, but at 12.30? That's too early. That's too early. Oh, no. Um, that's too early for Sangria. Um, so I was scrolling, scrolling, and then I saw myself again with very serious face. Like, I don't know, my opponent owns me something. My opponent is actually a grandmaster. He's very strong. 2700? Is he 27? He's a very nice guy. Uh, this event, Gukesh won. Gukesh was there as well, and he won, and he jumped in the pool. Uh, and I think he became, became second. Oh, this is so nice. We have really nice... Uh, view the players. Let's take a look. G5, the uh, knight, G5. Uh, I think G5 was just a, just a blunder in that position. Very often G5 is working, but in that position it was a bit too much. Who is Supreme Leader? Wait, what I'm missing? You are Supreme Leader? You know, <laughs> okay. So we have Ivanchuk, we have Jewel Musard, um, Pranav. Those are really, really strong grandmasters. Um, and then I don't know much players from here. Um, and then I'm 14th seated player. Uh, but, um, but I, um, I know that there are a lot of people still on hold because the organizer basically just um, puts the players when they have booked everything, the flights, uh, the hotel and everything and everything. So he is not putting the players um, just to attract more and more uh, mm. other players too. So um, it's Oscar, guys, <laughs> you know Oscar. <laughs> Uh, he does like that, uh, and which I actually very much appreciate. A lot of people just like uh, would, uh, because I know that Bodice Sisters also want to go there. They announced it, uh, and I knew it from the from the organizer, but he they are not in the list yet. So whenever all the details will be said and agreed, then he will put the player. So this is actually a very nice approach. Um, and hopefully I will not be top 15 or tw top 20, because when you are high rated 23.15 is not the high rating i should not be 15 14 rated in this uh, tournament so i wish to be somewhere like 25 30 so if we have 10 more strong players joining that would be so nice for the rating wise um yeah we came here for the photos right maybe yeah here. I, I'm gonna show you guys one for <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um Michael. Uh, this is not a tournament actually that I played. I played earlier. I played earlier. That should be um 23. Have I played 22? I played 22. I played 22. Pepe. Uh, oh, this is this is Nina and me at the yacht. <laughs> Living our best lives. <laughs> We're gonna have more yacht trip this year as well. Um
And this is our my chief uh, chief arbiter. He always wears like this, the like the the the, the uh, COVID outfit, you know, the shorts and the suits uh, on the top. No, no, it's a lot of fun. I don't know what we're doing here, but this is weird. Uh, this is this is very romantic photo. <laughs> you guys remember I played against Miguel at one of the title Tuesdays. It is very nice. It's very nice. I don't know Hannah in person, but I know her streams and she looks really and look at us just like why been at Ibiza? <laughs> it's so funny. We look like aristocrat cats. I love it. Um But it was very windy. Our hair like I'm gonna go with the head this year. It was very windy. Uh, oh my <laughs> Nina was driving. <laughs> Nina was driving the boat. That was so funny. We had Chasable uh crew recording some videos. Oh, these photos are so cute. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. This is a group photo. I love it. This is Oscar. This is Fran. Those are the organizers and the heart of the tournament. There's one more guy. Um, oh, not in Formentera, maybe. I don't know, actually. Maybe he will be there. Uh, and Nuno is also always there. So those are like amazing team. Amazing, amazing team. Um, it is really unfortunate that Nino cannot come this, this year. We had so much fun. Okay, I'm looking for one photo. It's so funny. With me and Nino, our face. <laughs> Uh, I think that was one of the morning rounds. So let's take a look here. Should be the last round. Uh, and oh no, we start. We start. Okay. The breaks are very uh, very short these days. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zikom. Oh, I know him. He's uh, from Azerbaijan. Azer, Mirzoev. I know him quite well. And we actually played earlier too. Okay. What is this, mister? That's an interesting way to play.
I knew he would do that. How about c5 here? Is this a blunder? No, it's not a blunder. It's not a blunder, unfortunately. c5 still, I like that move. Queen goes where? Let's go here. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, I blundered that. Not my best game, probably. Okay, the pin, the pin is good. The pin here, here. Okay. <laughs> Um... But I'm not breathing. I'm actually not breathing. Shit. Uh. 
Oh my gosh, that was so nice game. Let's analyze. Let's analyze. Um, as usual, the time was not my friend. Let's see what has happened. Of course, I blundered the pawns earlier, and then I got some nice play, I think, here. When I started to pin uh, the... I like this one so much. From here, we have to check what I could play better. It's not so nice, actually. The engine says you're not so good. A5. And... I like this move because then I saw this one earlier. I could not see it. So engine says go here, bishop e5. And when he takes, just... Oh. Now this is a game for, for everyone, actually, with pair of bishop. Oh, wow. So simple. <clears throat> Yeah, from here I started to um, make the wrong decisions. At least rook to a a6. Um, you know what? If I get, get that pawn, I don't think that I'm bad, actually. That bad. I'm lost probably also on time. But I can hold because pair of bishop is a good, good, good uh, um, advantage in the, in the end games especially. So, Oh, bishop e5 is a very simple move. I could see that. I could see that. Somehow I feel like when I play online chess, I only just direct myself only one part of the board, not like fully. This is what I'm actually not having on the uh, over the board chess. I always control the, I have a feeling I'm controlling the full, full chess board. Chess Burger TV, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. And welcome raiders. I don't know how late I am to announce this and to greet you guys. Hopefully I'm not too late. How was the stream? How how are you doing, guys, today? Uh, I actually very much enjoyed to play um, this title, uh, uh, title Tuesday. It is always like very mixed. Sometimes I am enjoying to play. My game is going well. Sometimes I'm like, oh, <laughs> not so much. Uh, today is the today is a good day. Today we're we're making everything look good, basically. That is my approach. That, my, that is my approach. Better to compete or better to do the commentary and interviews. Um, I, I enjoy I enjoy equally all all those things. I like very much to play. I like very much to compete. Um, and I like the whole process of like training first and then going for the tournaments. Like the whole situation of the traveling and going in the um, in the hotel uh, of the event where you can see all these chess players there in one place. Then I like the daily routines, to be honest, that I have everything uh, at the right time. Uh, so that is something that I very much miss in chess, like in my my, my life that I have this routine. As a commentator, I still have the routine, uh, but it is like more chaotic for me. It is more chaotic. As a chess player, I know what I'm going to do and I will not do anything else more than that. So as a commentator, there are some more things that I have to do. Uh, and it takes more time. It takes more energy. More passion, more passion, more energy. Wait. Where's my alpha 2600? Okay, let's get this knight here. My queen. Where's the dark square bishop? It's not a bad bishop, right? I think dark square bishop is not that bad. Okay, let's try knight. Now, uh, I have to be careful with knight h3 or bishop h3 moves there. Knight is so weirdly placed. Okay, let's get this one here. You take, I take with the pawn. Okay, so here, here. Bishop can get that, bishop can get that. Pawn e2. Wow, 
Wow, our YouTube chat is so active today. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, F4 for sure to break the center. We're gonna get this one here. Uh, the knight will get back in alive. And take, 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 check. King goes here. Okay, first I can do this. Yes. My knight is at the better place. The queen has to go somewhere g7 or g6. Okay, can I take? Takes, 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 takes. If I trade the queens, I am actually not sure that I can stop the pawn here. And also his king is quite exposed, so I'm going to keep the queens on the board. For the moment, I see one tactic there. Let it, let's, let's, let's work this out. Uh, so check, king goes here, I take, you take. Check. Okay, maybe h4. Check, king goes here. Damn it. Mm. Okay, um.
Oh my god, why I risked so much? Oh! Oh no. I risked too much. I risked it too much. I hate when 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 uh, when the opponent goes for a draw. I just hate it. You could just play and lose. Oh, <gasps> Rook of Eight. Or I could win. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Oh no, Rook of Fate, I have not seen. Okay. Let's see earlier. Queen F2 was a better move. And after this, Knight E3 is a good move. Hmm. Oh wow. I didn't see that happening. Rook to F8. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Happens. Did Kramnik lose twice? Really? Against who? Against who? Is he streaming? You guys, give me a second. I'm gonna uh, get some. Wow, our chat is very colorful on YouTube today. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. It it tells me that there are like um five people watching, but it is still very colorful. <laughs> I think that's not a accurate uh, number. <clears throat> okay. He's reporting again? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Three cheaters. He got three cheaters banned. That's a lot. Have you guys seen the uh, statistics that Chesscom put? Um, I, th I think the last month, how many people got banned for cheating? You guys, I kindly ask everyone to um, keep the chat in English only because um, my moderators don't speak any other language. Also, like my native language, Georgian, it's not very much welcome in the chat because um, moderators cannot see uh, what is happening in the chat. And um, that's why we are keeping the... Uh, it's always in English. Otherwise, I'm getting really angry sometimes. <laughs> because... Some people can can be nice in the... First of all, I don't understand. Let's start from there. But if I understand, that's uh, 
very often people are just very rude. So, um, we don't want any rude person to be in the chat. What's going on? Have I done something wrong? I might have. Oh, shit. Mm.
Oops. <laughs> I got flux before I realized what was going on. Hmm. Probably I have chances if I have more time. How m I have a, I have a feeling that all my opponents they have the increment and I have no increment. I have a feeling that I don't have an increment at uh, at this event. My time is running and my opponent's time is always there. It's it never goes down. I think I think my time is just broke. Never works in any of my games move faster i cannot move even if i move faster it's not uh, adding any one second yeah that's that's it <laughs> that's it that's my final decision You all have the feeling, right? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's broke. <laughs> maybe it's broke for me only. It, was it a last round? Oh, it was a last round. We have some games still going on. Let's take a look. Denis Lazovic, Duda, and Rud Makarian. Rudik Makarian. Ikaru is the fourth today. Okay, Denis Lazovic is actually quite strong. Very, he's he's a very fast player. Maybe my internet is just... Maybe. Maybe internet, maybe chesscom browser is broke. Maybe my, my mouse is um, not strong, not, not fast. Maybe... I don't know. Something is, something is wrong. Maybe I'm, I'm just slow. I don't know. Uh, but how come that everyone else is faster than me? There is no basically anyone in the whole title Tuesday. Never, like never, never, never who is slower than me. There was actually one guy and I was thinking like, wow, this guy is like, slower than me. But it was only one guy. Anyone else? They're crazy. Yeah, it's a conspiracy. It's something 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 is wrong we have to do some um investigation we have to do the investigation real investigation okay eight po four points uh out of 10 is similar as the previous title tuesday but i played one less game today uh that tells not much uh i might have more points i might have less points if i played the first game we we will never know that but the thing is that I am actually very happy how the things went today. Um, and there was like several openings that I just remembered how to play properly. And that's very important for my upcoming tournament to know how to play properly in those um, openings. So I call it a good title Tuesday for me. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed. The last title Tuesday, I didn't really very much enjoy it because there was a lot of games that I was losing because i was like remember guys i was just pushing oh it was a it was a it was a bullet event it was a bullet event i was just blundering queen rook bishop everything in just like together in one in one shot i was just blundering everything so um to compare that i enjoyed this one hello giant what who wants to eat me What's happening? I don't really get it. Okay, okay, okay. I have uh, I have some sushi situation here. Um. Um. Mm -mm -mm, okay. What's the next tournament? I have I have I have a lot of over over the board tournaments planned. 
Uh, I have the uh, event in Formentera in Spain, then I have event in Poland, and then I'm thinking to also play in France uh, at the league. So those are the over the board chess tournaments that I'm playing. Let's eat a grandpa joke. No. Poland. I said Poland. I said Poland um, as, as I am actually just um, um, not traveling today. Um, I will settle down again and unpack everything that I packed. <laughs> I even packed my camera. That's why I was late, guys, today. Um, I had to unpack everything. I had it back. I had my clothes in the bags. I had my makeup in the bag. Uh, and I woke up quite uh, quite late today. Uh, and um, then I said, like, okay, don't stress yourself. Just do whatever you can join. Um, and, um, yeah, put it back, everything. <laughs> On my desk, the camera, and the microphone, the mouse. Everything was everywhere. And um, now as I'm going to um, put things back, uh, I'm going to also find the regulation of the Polish tournament and you guys um, I will post it on our discord so if you can uh, join me here if you are living um, close by in some countries like I don't know Poland maybe uh, you live in Germany maybe you live in um, Czech so you can join here and we can have some nice meet up and then uh, some drinking in the in the end of the day. So that's the idea we can have. I'll be streaming uh, these um, tournaments uh, today. I will actually just look for some um, uh, equipments that I need for streaming. And um, yeah, all these tournaments. And I'm so happy. I, I actually got the um, notification from some of the streamers that they would like to do the streams. Uh, so uh, I will get you guys informed and. Probably I will be streaming this week um, quite a lot, more than I planned. <laughs> uh, and uh, also the cooking stream is ahead of us. Um, today, this uh, stream will be end faster than um, than usually we have. Oh, we have a raid. GM Matibar. Uh, thanks so much for, for, for the raid and welcome, guys. How was your tournament, GM Matibar? I hope it was fine. My tournament was actually okay. It was okay. I don't complain. Ududa got second place. Lazavik got the first place. And uh, Maka Rian got the third place. They actually shared the first, first third places. Uh, so, guys, today I will be also streaming the late title Tuesday. Um, uh, and I will start the stream just before, some minutes before as we usually do. Um, we have Polish, Polish uh, squad here. You guys, yesterday I was uh, doing Duolingo. Uh, and there was a very, very freaking weird situation. So one of the sentences that I had to translate was, a fish has a t-shirt. And I had to translate that in Polish. And I was sitting here and I was like, I will not say the words that I was thinking. What the, what the sushi? I have to learn how to say that fish has a t-shirt. <laughs> At some point when I have like tense days, this can be like, hit me very much that I have to learn this kind of weird sentences in my life. So, um... Yeah, there was that was a weird moment. The other time I will be just laughing about, but yesterday I was like, yeah. <laughs> if I have to learn that at the age of 30 that fish has a t-shirt, something is not okay in your life, Katie. But anyway, um only only bad thing that I feel today is that my little cousin was so much waiting for me. I don't know if she's really very much waiting for me, but she wants so much the gifts that I'm bringing. Uh, she wanted this pink wig that I got for her. I got her also a lot of very lovely things. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I got 
<laughs> I got her knees as well. And and a lot of other things too. I have one whole suitcase only only with gifts. I think I will not unpack that because it's just the gifts there. So I'll add more gifts <laughs> later on. And this one with the pink wig stays with me. So um, today uh, when they called, they were like, Katie, have you arrived? Where are you? And I was like, in my bed. <laughs> I was like, who are you? <laughs> and they were like, in this moment when they are like smiling, but they are not happy with the smile. So they asked me if I was uh, traveling or like, you are in bed? Like, we thought you were in the plane. And um, this little one is uh, three years old, th three to four, three years old, I think. And she didn't understand very much what happened. So at this point, she still thinks that I'm going. <laughs> and I know that if she knows that I'm not going, she will cry. That's what she does, actually. Uh, and um, she doesn't know uh, what it means to, um, I don't know, to reschedule something or or does where I am. She has a little bit difficulties to understand why I'm like uh, appearing in her life once in a while and then leaving her. So, <laughs> But what she likes is the gift. And we have a lot of gifts. It's a cute one. It's very fluffy too. Oh, we have another raid from Anna. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks very much, Anna. I hope you had a good um, title Tuesday. I hope you played better than I did. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 uh, yeah, thanks very much. Thank you, Jeffis, also for gifting some to Anna. Thanks, Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How was your stream? How was your games? Um... I had actually the trip to Georgia, Anna, today. I'm, I'm, I'm packed, but it didn't happen. And this is the gift that I wanted to give to my little cousin. But it's going to stay with me for a while. Here. Oh, so cute. Four and a half points. Okay, that, that, that's nice. That's not bad, actually. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's very fluffy. It's cute. Um, all right, are we ready to raid maybe someone? Because I am going to uh, stream another title Tuesday too, so I'm going to use this time. I'm recording a lot of videos these days, guys, uh, and, and, and we'll be publishing it on YouTube. I want to see Boris in title Tuesday adopted good for content. You are very violent today. You are very violent today. <laughs> uh, Boris, are Boris sisters playing Tidal Tuesdays or not? Or it's just me, Kramnik, and Hikar, <laughs> and Lille, and Anna. <laughs> Poker. Alex is playing poker right now. Oh, is Dina streaming? We can raid to Dina. We can. We can raid to Dina. Or something like that. Trying to get rid of cats here. <laughs> Dan is very much worried about me to eat sushi. Yeah, he wants me to eat sushi. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. Okay, let's let's start the raid and I'll be get ready soon. It's not easy to to end the end the stream. Let's raid to Dina. Dun, dun, dun. 
Okay, we left Tadina on Twitch and we're still live on YouTube. So now I'm going to say goodbye to you guys on YouTube. Thanks very much for hanging out with me. And I'll see you at 10 p.m. Central European time in a few hours. I'm going to play Second Title Tuesday. And we're going to talk also a little bit more after that. So thanks very much for joining me and see you soon. Bye bye.